Williams is part of the fabric of Formula One, a former powerhouse squad that ruled the sport throughout the 1980s and 90s, with iconic cars like the FW14B and a who's who of former world champion drivers. But while Hungary ahead is its milestone 800th Grand Prix, its last titles, drivers and constructors came 26 years ago in 1997 via still outspoken racer Jacques Villeneuve. It doesn't feel such a long time ago for some reason because it, these moments are so poignant, so strong that they remain livid in your memory. They don't go in that part of the brain that is part of the past. They, they are present every day of your life and it's just an amazing feeling. Williams is now out of the demoralizing survival mode that mostly defined its years post BMW until Doralton Capital arrived in 2020. With a new for 2023 vibrant team boss in ex-Mercedes strategy gun James Valls, who spoke to F1's official podcast Beyond the Grid about what drives him forward. I want to do proud to the name that's above the door and the legacy that's involved in the team. I don't treat that as pressure. I mean, I'll, I'll generate far more pressure myself than the legacy will, if that makes any sense. But the sports cost cap, while broadly effective, is slowing work on much needed capital upgrades to Williams's decades old facilities, which were allowed to wither under its old financially restrictive regime. What's actually really happened is in around about 2020 or so, um, for all the years prior to that, any investment you made, which is for many teams over 100 or even over 200 million across the years prior to that, big, big numbers, that's locked in. And if you didn't happen to have the money just prior to 2020, you're now with exactly what you had at that time. The teams and sport are working together on a plan forward. But Williams, whilst having the budget to compete now, will need more time to invest and get on terms with its rivals. Meanwhile, celebrations continue for its 800th Grand Prix, with a fan zone in London's Regent Street and iconic car demonstrations at Silverstone. Ahead of the next event in Hungary, where it will become just the third F1 constructor to reach the magic milestone after Ferrari and McLaren. The future for Williams is bright under its owner, Doralton Capital, but the road back to the podium's top step is still long and winding. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.